This video is about what to do if you're unrepresented and you're going to court for a criminal or traffic matter. Now, the first thing you should do is to get your materials together early. Now, by materials, I mean uh, any character references, any letters of apology, any other documents which might support your case, and they should especially be put together if you intend to plead guilty and to have the matter disposed of that is finalised on that day. So get your materials together very early before the court date. Now, the second thing you should do is arrive early. Now, arrive early, arrive around about the 9 a.m. mark. You go into the courtroom, you get a feel of the courthouse, you get a feel of where each of the courtrooms within the courthouse are. You can see if there's any registration desk where there may be a court officer sitting down and where people may be lining up to register themselves for matters. You will see where any uh, public notice board is and the public notice board will be where all the court matters are listed. So get there early, have a look around, have a walk around. The third thing you should do is check the court list. Now, as I've said, in the public area in the courthouse, there will be court lists, pieces of paper, and your matter will be in that court list. It'll say what number you are, it'll say which courtroom you're in. So have a look at what number you are, have a look which courtroom you're in, you're in and find that courtroom. Now, as I've said, there may be a registration desk. That's the fourth thing. So if there's a registration desk, that is someone sitting down at a table and people lining up to register their cases, then get in the line, I go to the person at the head of the line and tell them your name and they'll tell you exactly what to do. Uh, your case may have changed courtrooms or it may be coming up later in the day, so just speak to the person at the registration desk, tell them what you're doing, if you're pleading guilty or not guilty, they'll tell you what to do. Then when the courtroom opens, go into the courtroom. Now normally the magistrate won't be sitting in the courtroom when it opens, but if the magistrate is, and the magistrate's the person at the front of the room in the uh, elevated area, uh, then you bow down to the magistrate when you walk into the courtroom. You then sit down in the public area, and that will be immediately upon entering the courtroom. It will be there on your left and or on your right. So you sit down. Now here across the road in the Downing Centre, normally the first court date will be in courtroom 4.4 on level 4 or courtroom 4.5 which is also on level 4. They're obviously next to each other. So go up to level 4 there. So you sit there, you listen to the private practitioners, the private lawyers, because they will normally be the ones that go up first. So by listening to them, you'll get an idea of what needs to be done, what the magistrate likes, what you're supposed to say, those types of things. So you listen to the private lawyers talk to the magistrate and what the magistrate says. When your number is called, then uh, you walk up to the microphone. So walk up there, the magistrate will say, are you X person? You say yes or no, as the case may be. The magistrate will say, do you intend to plead guilty or not guilty? You'll tell the magistrate what you're pleading. Now, if you're pleading not guilty, the magistrate will either A, uh, adjourn the matter, that is put it to another date down the track, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks down the track, to enable police to give you all their materials, their statements, any documents from witnesses, that is people who, who've seen the incident or other people, and the magistrate may adjourn it to another date for that to occur so you can get those materials and go through them. If it's a small matter, a minor matter, a summary matter, uh, the magistrate may set it down for a hearing straight away. What that means is the magistrate may give you a date a month or two or longer down the track where the, the, the witnesses are required to come to court and they have to go up on the stand and they have to give their version of the events. You will also have the opportunity on that date to go up on the stand and give your version of events and the magistrate will say if you're guilty or not guilty. So that's what happens if you intend to plead not guilty. Now, if you plead guilty, you may want the matter dealt with there and then. If you do want the matter dealt with there and then, you'll say to the magistrate, guilty with an explanation. And if the magistrate's ready to deal with your case, um, you can then hand up any materials you have, any letter of apology, any character references, anything of that sort. The magistrate will then read through those materials and will likely ask you, is there anything you want to say? That's the time that you have to express remorse, to tell the magistrate you're, you're sorry for this, you understand that what you did is unacceptable, um, it's out of your character, you have not done anything like this before, and you understand the repercussions upon uh, the possibly the victim or upon the community of this type of behaviour. 
You can also talk about the impact of any criminal conviction upon you or any impact of the license disqualification upon you at that time. So if you really need your license for work, you can tell the magistrate that. If you're going to lose your job because you cannot get from place to place, you can explain these things to the magistrate when you're pleading guilty. So these are some of the steps that you might expect when you're going to the local court on the first date.